Aloha. This is Emily Thoreau Thrift, host of the Grief and Happiness Podcast. Every Friday, I share with you my love notes, giving you a little something to think about as you navigate through your grief journey, finding happiness expanding along your way. And every Tuesday, I post my regular podcast sharing wonderful conversations with people you can relate to and who offer you encouraging ideas and helpful inspiration. I'm so grateful you're joining me and look forward to hearing from you your thoughts. Aloha. My podcast for today is Acknowledge Your Feelings. When dealing with loss, we're bombarded by feelings. Some of those feelings, like remembering love and moments of joy, can bring comfort, while others can drag us down into the depths of despair. When those feelings hit, you may fall into the abyss of suffering, unable to rise up from the mire. You have a choice of how to deal with these feelings. You can fall into that deep hole and suffer, but you know that suffering doesn't serve you, or you can recognize what's happening and deal with it constructively. I found that when times like this hit, the best thing for me to do was to get out my journal and write. One way writing helped me was to write a letter, which could be to my loved one or to God or to someone who brought up the feeling for me and tell whoever I write to that I, what I'm experiencing right now and how I felt about it. One thing I dealt with was my anger at how Ron's nephrologist handled his care. I felt that they had done great physical suffering to him and that ultimately led to his death. And and this was a big burden to carry around. I started dealing with this by writing to Ron, asking what he would want me to do. After more than one long letter to him, exploring his feelings, my feelings about this, I realized I was ready to write the nephrologists, and I did. And I wrote the place that where the dialysis solution was administered and to the company who manufactured the dialysis solutions and to the hospital. I was able to tell them objectively what we'd experienced and the changes I saw that they needed to make. I heard back from all of them, and though I don't know if they actually made any changes, I was able to release the anger because I felt I had done all I could under the circumstances. Think about who you could write that would make a difference in how you're feeling. Another way to write to help you deal with your feelings is to first identify the feelings you're dealing with. Make a list which might include things like anger, loneliness, guilt, and depression. Include any feelings that you're dealing with right now. Next, identify the feeling that's bothering you the most right now. Then have a conversation with that feeling as if it's a person. Tell that person exactly how you're feeling, including all the details. Then ask either what that feeling thinks you can do about it or tell it what you plan to do to deal with it. Be sure to allow that feeling to respond to you through your writing. Don't think about your writing. Just let it flow. You'll be amazed at what shows up on paper. Using these techniques can help you discover what your heart already knows, and you can see what you need to do to heal. This kind of writing allows you to take the very best care of yourself so you can focus more clearly on the present moment and discover the beauty peace, and love that's always there. Do you want more comfort, support, and happiness? Join the Grief and Happiness Alliance. Visit my website at lovingandlivingyourwaythroughgrief.com and read my book, Loving and Living Your Way Through Grief. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast, rate it, review it, and binge on all our episodes on grief and happiness. I can't wait to welcome you back to another episode.